Escape Hospital Lab. Frank's a bright student who lives in a dorm. He's got a great future ahead of him. Car, money. But right now, he's really poor. One day, a man makes him an interesting offer. Some scientists are doing some research on brain power, he says. We need smart students like you to take part. We'll pay you 100,000 if you agree. Frank's excited and accepts the offer at once. Duh. They go to the lab. And Frank signs a contract. Well, I hope he reads it. Along with several other students from his university. Now we'll inject you to prepare your brains for the test. Frank wakes up in a place that looks like a hospital room. The light's so bright that he has to close his eyes. Something bad's gonna happen. Suddenly, two people come in. He's still sleeping. Those students are so smart, but none of them read the contract. Otherwise, they'd know that all of them will become part of a collective mind and will never leave the lab again. Frank's in shock. He doesn't want to stay in the lab for the rest of his life. He decides to run away. Escape from the room. Frank looks around and sees three ways to escape. What's the best option? He could go out the window. Oy. He could go out the door. Maybe a little better. What about C? He could wait for someone. So what's the best option? Definitely not A. He's on the 25th floor. That's a long way down. <laughs> How's he gonna get down? Gonna make a rope or something? Those crazy scientists want to lock him up forever. They've obviously locked the door. So we gotta go with C. He can arrange the pillows and blanket to make it look like a sleeping person. Then he can hide in the tank. Sneaky, when someone comes in, he'll think Frank is still in his bed, just sleeping it off. He'll have just enough time to get out of the tank and boom, run out the door. Four doors. All right, Frank's in the hallway, he made it. He rushes to the nearest staircase, gonna run out to freedom. But suddenly, he hears footsteps. Quick, hide, Frank! Which room should he hide in? What do you think, guys? Look at A. It's locked. No. What about B? There's somebody in there. Not a good idea. And D? Dangerous. Look at C. That's just a warning about a wet floor. No problem. Unexpected circumstances. Whew, that was close. Hiding from that guy over there. But there's no time to relax. Fire starts to come out of the ventilation shaft. The whole room will be on fire in a few minutes. He's got to do something. What should Frank do? Put out the fire with the fire extinguisher? Put out the fire with a rag?
There's no way to put out the fire. He needs to get out of there. What should he do? Look at Abe. It's expired. Useless. Plus, it's already been used. What about B? That rag soaked in alcohol. It'll catch fire in no time. So I guess he's only got one choice. Gotta make a run for it. Get out of the room. Useful items. Frank's about to leave the room. When he notices three items, a guard's uniform, an ID card, a machine gun. The fire is so hot. He only has time to grab one item. Which one should he take? He has no time to put it on. Carrying it will just slow him down. Okay, so not the uniform. The gun? It's too big. He'll draw too much attention with it. Yeah. Nice and small. An ID card. Might help him open a door. Frank takes the ID card and goes out. Final obstacle. Almost all the rooms on the top floors are on fire. Luckily for Frank, all the staff are freaking out. He can blend in. Just gotta pretend that he's freaking out. He can get downstairs. Now he's in front of the lab exit. He has the ID card to get out. Perfect. But Frank's still in a hospital gown. He won't make it past the guards. Which door should he choose to escape? That's a weird lab with some weird people by the exits. There's a robot, a vampire, a zombie, dude with a gun. He's a robot. No way Frank's stronger than him. It's a zombie. He'll eat Frank's brain. That's not good. He's human, but he could still shoot Frank with his gun. He's a vampire. It's nearly dawn. He'll have to leave his post soon. Frank can finally escape. At last, he's free. Go home and have a good rest, man. And take my advice. Never trust strangers again.